now, live from an abandoned kitchen at Fox Sports Studios, it's The B-League with Sam Mack and Jules. Hello, B-Leaguers. Welcome to episode 12. It is great to be back, Jules. Yes, we are back. Those rumours that we enrolled our kids in London private schools, they weren't true, Sam. We're back and we're committed. We are excited to be back. And uh, over the last couple of weeks, while we've been away, quite a few things happened. And something was missing when Sydney FC took the trip to Adelaide on New Year's Eve. And the thing that was missing was grammar. Where are you, Del Piero? I know Mm. it's just a kid, but he needs to lift his game. Uh, Something else is going to be missing from the A-League, Sam. A B-League favourite, Billy Mehmet, has a announced he's leaving our shores. Of course, he was participating in a memorable moment, our A-League karaoke songs. Remember this? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. And here's my number. So call me Billy. Mmm, vintage stuff. And the good thing about Mehmet going, Sam, is I guess there's no more puns Well. Now. Actually, Jules, I'll pull you up there because uh, I did a little bit of work on the internet overnight and I can present to you guys right now Billy Meemut. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Apart you from that much. one, Thank we're you. pun free, no more oh, pun. Can I just say though, Jules, I feel a yeah. little bit strange, you know, uh, he was playing at Perth Glory and Nick Mehmet, he's moved <laughs> okay. to Thailand and he's okay. playing for Bangkok Glass. Yes, well at least there's nothing we can do with Bangkok Glass. Well, nothing I, funny about that. I could that. do a... Um... Okay, that's enough, Sam. That's enough. Look, while we're away, uh, in the EPL, there's lots of homemade t-shirts the players are using during goal celebrations. Let's have a look at a few memorable ones. Here we go. Here's Bellatelli. Why always me or in Adelaide were always me. Uh, here's another great one, Berbatov, keep calm and pass me the ball. Good word play. This one is disappointing though, Sam. Jekko, Happy New Year. What's he doing? Rubbing the Mayans' noses in it? What's that about? That is a waste of a t-shirt. I can't believe he even got that printed. I mean, it is a Man City shirt, admittedly, so fair enough. I wanted to ask though, Jules, mm. on goal celebrations, if you made one, what mm. would yours be? Easy, Sam. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. How's this? Last Classy. time I scored it involved a yes. goat. Yes, uh, Mine's just this. Oh, yeah. You really are getting desperate, aren't you? Right here, You've so it's shorts, on silent, but I'll hear the vibrations. Okay, right. uh, look, let's keep talking celebrations, but locally, let's talk about Archie Thompson. He scores a lot of goals, so he needs a lot of celebrations. Here's what he did the other week, which was quite impressive. It's the ice bath, mm. quite a popular YouTube clip. He did it very well. He likes a bit of choreography. So we thought, why don't we go and visit his fans at Amy Park and ask them for some suggestions, some new ideas for what Archie could do for his next celebration. Underscore for the It's called the uh, FIFA and the, I'm the controller. We get Archie doing the A like that, and then we've got the T in the background for the Thompson. So there you go. The, the old bench press, you know? I'll give you a bit of a demonstration if you like. Sure. Archie scores in the derby again. Yeah, human centipede. Can you show us what it looks like? Yeah. Uh, guys? We, uh, we seem to have lost transmission. We, we don't get to see the human centipede demonstration, yes. unfortunately. And I love the way the B-League always records in back alleys. That is, that is great to see. But Archie Thompson, we know you watch the segment, so we'd love you to tweet us at the B-League and tell us your favourite celebration. And all fans can get involved, Sam. What's your favourite? Is it the FIFA? Is it the human centipede? I know that's going to be maybe. quite popular. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should stop saying it because people are going to Google it, aren't they? Let's yeah. move on. Yes. Hey, Jules, I wanted to talk about uh, something that I felt we need to discuss. Last year, we made quite a few jokes about Hayden Fox. And over the last few weeks, while we had a break, we got a little bit reflective and we thought maybe we went a little bit too hard on him and those jokes about how he dresses. If you missed it, here's what happened. What the freak was Hayden Fox dressed as? Was he dressed as A, a Zimbabwe 2020 cricketer? B, a Super Mario brother? C, was he dressed as Dougie the pizza delivery boy? I think he's taken some of our comments a little personally though because have a look at him before the game yesterday. Yeah. He's lost the pizza oh, boy hat. And he's put on weight. He looks a lot cartoonier than I remember <laughs> I him as well. Samuel Ogg said, just got home from working at Pizza Hut. How's this for a Hayden Fox lookalike? Let's check him out. Wow. Impressive. 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 How many Hayden Fox jokes have we made during the B League Sam. Oh, I reckon it'd be up to about 37 now. Wow. Congratulations. What a milestone. <laughs> nice. Hmm. So we thought 37, Sam, was enough. So we're going to end the B-League tonight by showing you this. We visited Melbourne Heart Training a few weeks ago. We met up with Hayden Fox to make good and promise him there'll be no more pizza delivery gags. This is it, Jules. We're at Melbourne Heart and they've promised us that we can finally meet Hayden Fox. I'm so excited, Sam. We're in the kit. I've got so many questions. There he is. Oh, here here he is. Delivery for Sam and Jules. 
I don't think he likes our sketches. <laughs> Barbecue sauce, meat lovers. It's actually pretty good.